I got involved in climate change in the mid-1990s when Costa Rica took a very avant-garde position in, with respect to its climate policy and started in fact to already pioneer some of the financial instruments that today are recognized around the world. Um, I thought it was very interesting that Costa Rica had seen the advantages of beginning to integrate climate into its national economic policy and I thought it might be interesting to take some lessons learned from Costa Rica and offer them and share them to other Latin American governments. Um, I then therefore formed an NGO um, that operated for uh, 10 years and basically we were a think tank to help support Latin American countries to become more active um, in the climate change convention and to be able to take some uh, benefit um, and certainly some responsibility there. Carbon finance has uh, a allowed developing countries to begin to identify very interesting mitigation options um, in a whole host of different sectors and it has certainly helped of course industrialized countries to bring down the overall cost of mitigation under the Kyoto Protocol. But perhaps more, most importantly carbon finance, the traditional carbon finance, the, uh, the market, the CDM and JI has really laid a very very solid groundwork as we now proceed into a post-2012 regime we have something uh, to fall back on and to extract lessons learned. We know that um, mitigation needs to be scaled up quite urgently and therefore it's quite evident that uh, mitigation will have to have several sources of financing, the market being one based on offsets, um, but there will have to be other complementary avenues for um, as incentives for mitigation and that is what we are beginning to call climate finance where developing countries will be helped in their mitigation efforts but not on an offset or market-based system but rather based on their own national efforts.